Hey guys, it's Season 9 here. Um, today I'm going to be doing um, Harry Potter quiz. I have my friend Mikey helping me out with it. You won't be seeing him, but he is the one reading my quest reading the questions to me. I have not seen the questions, I have not seen the quiz beforehand, and I have a whiteboard. Um, the way I'm doing this is inspired by the Super Callan brothers and how they do their Harry Potter quizzes, is I'm going to write down the answer, although I'm sure they have answers listed, like, under the question, I'm sure. I'm getting confirmation. They do, yeah, they do have answers listed, but I'm just going to write them and see if I know them that way, because I consider myself a very Harry Potter extreme nerd, and you know, this is how I'm going to do it. So he's going to ask me questions and I'm going to cut out his audio because he doesn't want to be in the video. Um, but that's how I will be getting it done. Okay, first question. What is Lord Voldemort's real name? And I know, uh, so it's Tom Marvolo Riddle, and I know you don't know this, but just pick the answer on there, and then I know you can tell me if it's right or wrong. Marvolo. Marvolo Riddle, yeah. What's the last line of the book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? <laughs> oh my god, oh. Read the options. I'm having him read the options, by the way, to me, because I'm, I'm lost. The first option is, goodbye for now, Hogwarts. Harry, Ron, and Hermione looked at each other sheepishly and smiled. I'm going to have a lot of fun with Dudley this summer. <laughs> Until the fall, said Dumbledore with a nod. So I, I don't know. Pick the second option. According to Dursley's, how did Harry's parents die? What does SPEW stand for? Oh, S-P-E-U. Ooh, dang it, it's... S-P-E-W. I, I just set it up. I don't remember. I know I know that E stands for L. Because it's like... Okay, there, there's two options going for you. All right. Um, because we... I'm, I'm doing this because we need to know... We need to, like, answer it to, like, go on to the next question. So what what are the two options that have elves there? Because I know it's elves. Okay, so there's Society for the Protection of Elves and Wizards. Or sorority for the protection of elves and wands. I'm gonna say elves and wands. I don't know why it would be wizards. What is Dumbledore's full name? Oh my god. He's got a, such a fucking long name. Yeah, I see a five name, long name. Oh, this. I know I'm missing a name. Do so... you want me to read off the options? Well, right now I have Albus, Brian, Wolfric, and I know there's something else, and then I have Dumbledore. So read off the options to me. There, there's five different names, and they're all just in different orders. They're all just in different orders? Yeah. Okay, well, what's what's the one I'm missing, then? Uh, Percival. Percival, okay. So... I think. Well, yeah, because I have Albus, Brian, Wolfric, Percival, Dumbledore. So it's... Okay, I think it's in this order, so... I think it's like that. I'm switching those two. I think it's Albus, Brian, Percival, Wolfric, Dumbledore. That, that is a option. Yeah, so pick that option. <laughs> what is the symbol for the Ravenclaw house? It's an eagle. Do they want more specific? Nope. Okay. Dumbledore has a scar above his left knee. It's a perfect map of what? Mmm... <laughs> You're going to have to read me the options because I can't think. Alright, so there's Hogwarts, the London Underground, North America, or Diagon Alley. It's the London Underground. How many sickles are in a galleon? Oh, fuck. I don't know my... I don't know that currency. 
<laughs> um, so Do you want the option? A sickle is less than a galleon, that's obvious. So I think I think it's six sickles equals one galleon. That is not even an option. Okay. Then is it four? The the, the numbers are big. The numbers are big? God yeah, damn it. Wait, is a want... sickle less than a nut? Get, okay, give me the options. 13, 15, 17, 19. 13. Thir 13. 13. What are the three cores Garrick Ollivander uses in his wand making? Okay, you're going to have to give me the options because all I have is Phoenix Feather right now. Do you want me to read the ones with Phoenix Feather? Yes. Or just those ones? Just the ones with Phoenix Feather because that's one of the answers that I'm sticking with. Okay, so it says Phoenix Feathers dragon heartstring and unicorn hair or phoenix feathers dragon tooth and centaur mane it has to be dragon heartstring because i know dragon the dragon heartstring one is it so okay phoenix feather dragon heartstring and unicorn hair. unicorn hair a person born into a wizarding family who cannot do magic is called a squib <laughs> <laughs> but it's an answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who gave us the Marauders map? Uh, I'm guessing... I don't know if they want their real names or their fake There's names. There's four people. I know. Is Lupin on there? Like the word Lupin. No. Okay, then they want their fake names. Oh my god, I can't think of the fourth one. Goddamn. Um, Do you want the option? No, because I'll, I'll know it instantly as soon as, as, soon as you tell me. Because I have Padfoot Prongs, Wormtail. <sighs> All of them have Messers as the start? No, yeah, it's Messers. Because it's Messers and then it has their order of names. That's an option. Okay, because that's what I've been thinking of. I'm like, isn't it Mooney? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah. It's Messers, Padfoot, Mooney... Wormtail and prongs. That How took me way too long. How many points is the snitch worth in Quidditch? Hundred fifty points. Who founded the Order of the Phoenix. Who originally founded? Just says who founded. Ah. <laughs> so I know we got, and it's multiple names, right? Because it should be. Yeah, there's four. Okay. There's four different people. I gotta say, because there should be. I'm saying Dumbledore, Snape, Moody, and James Potter? What are, like... I know for sure, I think Dumbledore, Snape, and Moody... Wait, no, it's... No, not Snape, not Snape. It's just one person. It's just one but person? there's four different people. Oh, well... <laughs> I'm gonna say Dumbledore. Go with Dumbledore. Because, like, I thought multiple people formed the order. No, it says just one person. Gosh darn it. Next question. Which brothers are supposedly the original possessors of the Deathly Hollows? That's exactly how it's worded. Which brothers are supposedly the original possessors of the Deathly Hollows? Okay. That that's just how that's how it's worked. We're originally what the heck? Yeah, oh, I I do not know that. Read read the names. I do not know this. <laughs> uh, the Percival brothers, the Princip, the Princip brothers, the Posimo brothers, and the Pevero brothers. I think it's the fourth one. All right, next question because I didn't know the what answer. What is the last line of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Can you read me the answers? First option, Harry nodded. Second option, the scar had not pained Harry for 19 years. All was well. Third option, off to school with you, comma space Albus. Fourth option, life was good. Life was good. What are Albus Dumbledore's siblings' names? There's only two listed, right? Yeah, there's only two for each option. Yeah, because... 
There's Aberforth. Because uh -huh. that's his brother. And then he has a sister <laughs> who he killed. <laughs> Ex uh, he Well, he, he claims that he killed her. It was like his fault. I don't remember her name! So what are the options that have Aberforth? There's only one option with it. Okay, well, I'm gonna pick that option, but I only get a half point for this question, because I don't, I don't really know. I don't remember her name. What was her name? Ariana. Ariana! Grande. <laughs> Which of these characters mentioned in Harry Potter was a real-life person? Well, that would be the maker of the Philosopher's Stone, which is... I know, I know this. I know this. They say his name so much. It's Nicholas Flamel. All right. Because I was thinking Scamel, Flamel, like I was... I knew it. Which is not a house in the North American Wizarding School... Ivermon? Ilvermoni. Ilver. Ilvermoni. Okay, so the I is capitalized and then the L is lowercase, so it looks just like yeah. L. -O. I hope the last one is the answer because that last one looks stupid. Um. That's like the Hufflepuff equivalent. Well, I, well, like the thing is, I guess I like need to know. I need it so. I only really know mine, so I'm gonna say go ahead and list them off like the question says. All right, so. Option one is Thunderbird. Okay. Option two is Wampus. Okay. Option three is Horned Rhino. And option four is Puck Wudgie. Which I hope is not. It's the third one. It's not a Horned Rhino. It's the Horned Serpent. That That's like one of the things. So like, yeah. So, oh, sorry, Pudge would is <laughs> That's a real one. That's so dumb. <laughs> Who put Harry's name in the Goblet of Fire? Who put Harry's name in the Goblet of Fire? Did you put Harry's name in the Goblet So, oh my god. David Tennant did, but, um... What is it? So... Because it's... Junior. Barcy Crouch! Junior. Final answer? Yeah. Okay. Because he was disguised as Alistair Moody, but it was really Barty Crouch. So if they get me wrong on that one, that's just a cheap shot. Because he was disguised by Crouch. What is Hermione's middle name? List them. I don't know. Jean, Melanie, Roberta, or Sarah? It's Jean. It's Jean. It's Jean. Show me my results. 15 out of 20. 15 out of 20. Does it tell me which ones I got wrong? I uh, see the answers. The ones I missed were 2, 4, 5, 8, and 15. Doing good. Thanks, guys, for watching the rest of Vlogmas. Um, this is the last day that you guys will be seeing because this is the 25th video. So have a really Merry Christmas and have a really safe New Year. Please be safe. And I will see you come Sunday. Oh wait, that is the 31st. I won't see you that day, I'm sorry. Um, you'll, you'll see me the first Sunday of January. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys then. Bye!